Hello children. In this video, we are going to learn how to find square of a number using various methods. So first method we know it's the definition of the square itself. That is you multiply by that, that the same number by itself. So if you need to find three square, then you need to do three into three, that is nine. Five square, five into five, 25. So smaller number makes sense. You can do, suppose in case you need to find square of a number, can you do it without using the multiplication method? Let's try to find out. Here is the second method where suppose a number is something 11, 31, 41, which is nearer to a tenth number. Can we find its square using its previous number, which is a little easier because it's in tens. So suppose you need to find the square of 11, that is 11 square. How can you do it? You know 11 is near 10, right? It's just after 10. So can I find the square of 11 using the square of 10? And square of 10, you know, is 10 square is 100. 10 into 10 is 100. Two zeros, one zero, two zeros. So here is a simple rule to do it. So you can write 11 square minus 10 square, the previous number square, is equal to 2 times the previous number 10 plus 1. So 11 square minus 10 square is equal to 2 into 10 plus 1. And to find 11 square, just like algebra, all you need to do is move this this side. So 11 square will become this is 2 into 10 is 20 plus 1 21 plus 10 square. This 10 came here, so it became this side plus so 21 plus 10 square which is 100 will become 121 right let's take another example suppose you need to find 21 square we know 21 is near 20 it's it's just after 20 so can we use the previous number of 21 that is 20 to find its square and 20 square we know 2 twos are 4 and 0 into 10 into 10 is 100 so it is 400 so we again write it the same way 21 square which we want to find out minus previous number square which is 20 square is equal to 2 times the previous number plus 1. So 2 times previous number is 2 into 20 is 40, 40 plus 1 is 41 and we move this 20 square this side because we need to find this we want to keep the left hand side alone just like in algebra so which keep 21 square is equal to 41 which is 2 into 20 plus 1 and this moves on the right side becomes here and this we know is 400 so 41 plus 400 is equal to 441 so 21 square is equal to 441 to put it generically given a number n if you want to find its square using its previous number all you need to do is write that number here and minus previous number square, the previous number of n is n minus 1. In case of 21, the previous number was 20. And then you do 2 times the previous number plus 1. And all you need to do is you keep this thing here and this stuff moves on the right side. The minus becomes plus. Right? So minus 20 square, here the number comes and it becomes plus 20 square. So 2 times the previous number plus 1 and this 20 square moves here. And 20 square was easy to find. So 41 plus 20 square, which is 41 plus 400, equal to 441. Same way you can do for 31, 41, 101, and so on. Right? So you can find a square of a number using its previous number. Another way is to find the square of a number using its next number. Suppose you need to find 19. Right? So the next number of 19 is 20, whose square we know. Right, so 19 is near 20, so we know the square of 20 is 400. Can we use the same? Very similar formula. The bigger number, 20 square minus 19 square, is equal to two times the number which you want to find 19 plus one. Right, and 19 square is what you want to find. So you do 20 square is 400 minus 19 square. You leave it as is, and you simplify this. Two into 19 plus one. 39 right and because you want to find this number 
according to algebra rule you move it to the right side so that it becomes plus so it becomes 400 is equal to 39 plus 19 square and you want to leave this thing alone because that is what you want to find so this 39 moves on this side so plus become minus it becomes 400 minus 39 is equal to 19 square and that is 19 square is equal to 361 so what we did we do to find 19 square we know 19 was nearer 20 20 square minus 19 square is equal to 2 times 19 the number which you want to find in case of next number you put 2 times the number you want to find and in case of previous number you put actually the number which was the previous number right or to put it generically in these kind of formula remember you just put the smaller one here and the the formula remains very similar you can say n plus 1 minus n square is equal to 2 times n plus 1 right and this n plus 1 is nothing but the next number whose square you want to find that is in case of 19 the next number was 20 so you write 20 square minus 19 square is equal to 2 into 19 plus 1 so you want to find for n you put n plus 1 square that is 20 square in case of 19 minus 19 as n here 19 square equal to 2 times 19 plus 1 then you move this thing here and this thing here and you can find it out makes sense so it works for numbers like 19 29 39 49 and so on what if the number is neither closer to tens either because of the previous number or next number let's take 24 its previous number is 23 whose square we don't know and its next number is 25 whose square we may not, might not know right so try to represent in this case we'll you we are going to use simple algebra formula represent this number as a sum of two number where one number is multiple of 10 so we can always say 24 is 20 plus 4 right so you can say 24 square is nothing but 20 plus 4 entire bracket square makes sense so 24 is nothing but 20 plus 4 put the bracket because it's 24 square square and we know based on the algebra rules a plus b square is equal to a square plus 2 into a into b plus b square always put the brackets right otherwise you might do mistake you can do addition of a square plus 2 or something like that so a square plus round bracket 2 into a into b round bracket close plus b square so this is the formula you might have learnt in algebra we are going to use it here to find the square of the number 24 so we represented 24 as 20 plus 4 so it becomes 20 plus 4 square so a is 20 b is 4 just put in the formula wherever it's a you put 20 wherever b put 4 so it becomes 20 square plus 2 into 20 into 4 2 into a into b plus b square which is 4 square 20 square you, you know 2 into 2 is 4, 10 into 10 is 100, so it's 400. 2 into 20 is 40, 40 into 4 is 160, plus 4 square is 16. So it becomes 400 plus 160 plus 16, which becomes 576. Take another number, bigger number this time, 89 square. Instead of doing 89 into 89, we'll represent it as 80 plus 9 square. Using the same formula, in this case A is 80 and B is 9. So it becomes 80 square plus 2 into 80 into 9 plus 9 square. Remember children, put the brackets. Otherwise, it, you might do some mistake during the addition. 80 square is simple. 8 into 8 is 64. 0 into 0, 10 into 10 is 100. So it is 6400. Remember the properties of square. So 8 into 8 is 64. 10 into 10 is 100. So it is 6400. Plus 2 into 80 is... 160, 160 into 9 is 1440 and 9 square is 9 into 9 which is 81. You just add them you get 7921. Right? So using any of these methods if the number is closer to 10 either it is 9 or 11 you can use the previous methods or if it is somewhere in between you can represent it as sum of two numbers where one of the number you can represent as in tens like 67 it can be said 60 plus 7. And use 60 square plus 2 into 60 into 7 plus 7 square. 
so that's all in this video children we're going to learn more about squares and square root in our next video bye bye